Oh my god, it's like... <laughs> Money. Ah, uh, folks. Do you know what this means, folks? Yeah. I'm glad I didn't light that cigarette, folks. Yeah. Right up, church, man. Yeah. A lot of people in the know like us. Yeah. What's the season after winter? Money, 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 money. I want money. She wants money. Money, money. You people are making money off of us. Money. I want money. She wants money. Money, money. If I'm gonna appear in videos for entertainment, I want money. Folks, I want money. She wants money. Money, money. You people are making money off of us. Well, oh my god, it's like... <laughs> if I'm gonna be your fucking Brad Pitt, I want a paycheck. Money. Like, holy shit. You got that? <laughs> what? Yeah, money. If I'm gonna be your entertainment, I want a fucking paycheck. Anyway, back to the back to the story. Blood Dracul, Dracul blood. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that Dracul. Oh my God. Money. They pay they bread, 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 bread. Good, good fucking money. 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 They pay they bread, 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 bread. Good, good fucking money. 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 I want money. Money, money. She wants money. Money, money. You people are making money off of us, folks. I want money. Money, money. She wants money. Money, money. If I'm gonna appear in videos for entertainment, I want money, folks. I want money. Money. She wants money. Money, money, money. You people are making money off of us. Uh. Well, oh my God. It's like. <laughs> Uh, what else can I say? Oh, yeah. Give me your fucking money! What's up, everybody? I always mess the front part of it up. Mm. How is everybody doing? Let me make sure my levels are good. That should be good. Let me check something else. To be cheating me. Okay, cool. Okay, we're good. Um, thank you, guess who? <laughs> I want money, Rev. Thank you for being a member. Uh, Mary Sunshine, $2 super chat. Give me your fucking money. Don't you just love that? <laughs> when I found that sound bite and I was like, oh, that's perfect for the end. Uh, welcome, Miss uh, <laughs> Muddick. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And Lake Girl, thank you for being a member for three months. I really appreciate that. <laughs> okay, cool. So I hope everybody had a great weekend. Mine was busy, but in a good way. So I wasn't home much, but I'm here now. And apparently there was a whole lot of stuff that happened. And we're going to call it Wendy's Gate. So anyway, I know that drag went over some of this, but I have a lot of people in my audience that um, are not in his audience. And a lot of people that maybe have missed his stream. So we're going to go over it because I had already planned on going over it. Um, and I have a few extra things for, for giggles. <laughs> um, the first thing we're going to look at today um, <clears throat> is kind of like, and this is kind of like my comment of the week kind of thing. Let me share a screen real quick. Okay. And make sure that's the correct one. Yep. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Let me just go here. So this is Molly Go Lightly. Um, I used to do a whole lot more content on her in the past. If you would learn, want to learn more about Molly Go Lightly, uh, Lightly MGL, because I know that she hates people when people call her MGL. So if you want to know more about MGL, uh, feel free to look back in the past on my channel. I do have quite a number of videos 
and live streams on this person. She's just as crazy as the other Lowell's cows. So let me set this uh, clip up. It's very, very short. Okay. So essentially they were talking about a woman involved in a case because she like sits and talks about cases and all that. Hey, what's up, MM? Um, and uh, apparently the person, the woman that this, that uh, MGL was talking about, she apparently assumed the woman was Mexican or part Mexican, but then finds out that she's actually Native American, which, hey, it's a story of our life, right? But the interesting thing is the bullshit, racist propaganda nonsense that was coming out of her mouth after she says, oh yeah, oh yeah, she's Native American, she's not Mexican. So I wanted to use this as a teachable moment because there seems to be a lot of people that are morons on this topic. So because I'm indigenous, I thought, hey, you know what? Let me uh, use her uh, stupidity and ignorance and turn it into a teaching moment. So uh, enjoy. Yeah, she's Native American. If she's like part of the indigenous, dude, do you know how many like perks and breaks they get? Oh my gosh. Free college. So yeah. Um they get? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Free college. Okay. Um, all of that is bullshit. All of what she just said is bullshit. I didn't get free college. I worked my way through college. I don't, I know a lot of indigenous people. Uh, none of them uh, just got, you know, college tuition handed to them for nothing, right? Uh, there are scholarships, certainly. You have to earn those, just like everybody else has to earn the scholarships that they want to get. And there's no, um, and there's no guarantee that that scholarship is going to pay for everything. That's also very ignorant. I had a 4.0, summa cum laude. Okay. I got scholarships, but it didn't, it was because of my grades. I earned that. It wasn't because it was a handout. Furthermore, all, it didn't cover everything. In fact, I think the stuff that I got like covered my books and fees, but I still had to pay tuition. And I paid for that myself. There are a lot of times where um, there will be tribes, not very often, but there are some that are a little wealthier than everybody else, a little wealthier tribe than maybe some of the other ones. And they do give you some money, but that money comes from the tribe. It does not come from the U.S. government. Okay. So I wanted to show you this. This is a website. Um, this is one of many, many, many websites, okay, that will show you um, sort of myths about Native Americans, because I've heard all of these. Oh, you don't pay taxes. Uh, oh, you get free health care. Um, oh, you get free housing. Oh, you get a free education, blah, 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 blah. It's all bullshit, okay? Like I said, there are certain instances on certain uh, tribal lands where you may get some benefits, but the statistic is that the vast majority of us don't live on reservations, okay? The vast majority of us live elsewhere. So yeah, most of the time, you know, they're very poor and there isn't money for that. There's no money for that in my tribe. Like, I don't even know who she's talking to. And before anyone says, oh, well, this tribe over here has a casino and this, okay, you have to understand that a lot of times the casinos, the people that make the money are the white shareholders in that casino. Okay. Oh my gosh. So anyway, I want to uh, share that with you guys. I will copy that and put that in the chat. This will be in the description as well after the stream is over and you can read it for yourself. Um, and if you don't trust this website, which is like the website that has all the power information on it for the whole country, feel free to Google it yourself because it's bullshit. Okay. Um, 
Yes. Thank you, Todd Malakote. $5 super chat reservations have almost disappeared in Oklahoma. Also, they call it tribal housing here. Yes. Yeah. So, and it's, and, and here's another thing to get sort of perspective on this. There's like 800 plus tribes and nations. 800. Okay. Ish. That's a lot. So to just kind of lump us all into like one example is also pretty ignorant on her part. Yeah, thank you, Yami. Let me go back. Did you say something else? I'm sorry. Uh, don't some of my tribe money co actually come from the casinos like the ones in Minnesota? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, again, it's different for every tribe and nation, okay? You can't, like her, make a blanket statement, right? Some of the tribes do get some of that casino money, okay? And it's kind of like a joke, like, oh, that tribe, they got that casino money. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a joke. But there are lots of other tribes that don't get very much money at all because it's the shareholders that get all of the money. Then you have tribes and nations in like Alaska. And I think there's some in like upstate New York or some other places where they may get like a, a little stipend at the end of the month. But we're talking very little money compared to what is needed for like cost of living. Okay. Hey, what's up, Chica? Anytime you want to do a First Nations focused stream, let me know. We still have that J Treaty between Canada and US. That's right. That's true. That's my girl, Chica. Chica Chica. She's First Nations. So that's my sister. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to show y'all that <laughs> because she's an idiot, like straight up idiot. And she's made little comments here and there before. And it's just so fucking dumb. I don't even, I can't even put into words how dumb this woman is. And what, what I think is happening is that she's hearing certain people that are sort of aligned with her political beliefs that are spouting these things, but she should be very careful because a lot of the things that she has spouted, a lot of the things that I've heard Bullhorn Betty spout, a lot of the things I've heard a lot of other people spout from that sort of corner of politics is a lot of times when they say things like that about indigenous people, um, it's, it's Nazi propaganda points. It's, it's talking points from the KKK and they're just repeating it as if it's true. And it's not, it's just absolutely not true. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah. And then we're just going to move on. Oh, actually, you know what? I got another surprise for you. So the other thing that happened in this same stream <laughs> is that uh, she held up a picture of, uh, this is uh, without a crystal ball, I think. But here's the thing. It's a fake, like it's Photoshop. It's obviously Photoshopped. It's a fake mugshot that somebody had uh, made as like a meme and they posted it online. And MGL uh, put, was holding it up in her stream and was like, oh, my gosh, look how ugly she looks. <laughs> it was so funny because, you know, it was just like, how did you not know this was a fake mugshot? And what was even funnier is that right before she started ragging on this person's looks in this fake mugshot is the sentence before she was like, the second that you start talking about people's looks, you lose the argument. And then she turns around and is like trashing the way this woman looks in a fake mugshot. So anyway, and I'm not saying that I like uh, the person that she's holding up. OK, both are trash. I just want to be clear about that. Both of them are complete trash. But shout out to Zylie, um for catching that. That was really, really, really funny. That was really funny. So now we're going to go on to Wendy's Gate. And this was, this was hilarious, y'all. Um, let's see. How are you? My so has dual citizenship. Okay, okay cool. Um, yeah, so this is what happened. Uh, they got on, they ate all of their EBT up before the end of the month. I know shocker, right? And so they're hungry, hungry. And so they did this stream. I think they did like more than one stream talking about how, 
um, they were hungry and they wanted to do a treat stream and they wanted people to donate to them so they could have money for food. And so somebody graciously bought um, a Wendy's meal. It was made, it was for like one person for Jason and basically told him, Hey, you eat because she's always hoarding the food. Thank you, Yato. Thank you. <laughs> Super chat. That's obviously tragic with glasses. Oh, <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. That's funny. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, Yato. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, if you know, you know. <laughs> Any, anyway, so he got mad, and um, this is kind of what happened. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay. Somebody contacted me, and shout out to this person. Uh, you guys who send me clips, y'all are freaking amazing, okay? Somebody sent me this this uh, timestamp from a stream she did last week. You know how they were saying, oh, we don't drink. We don't even have it in the house. Bullshit. Because guess what I found? This was a stream from not uh, this past Saturday, but from the Saturday before, I believe. It was from July. No, actually, it was from this weekend. My bad. It was from July 16th. And looky what they found. Just a typical Saturday with a friend Oops. called Jim Beam. Jim Beam. And banana candy. <clears throat> so I have Jim Beam here being a friend of mine with a banana candy, Delta 10, and or Cloud 8. It's Delta 8, sorry. And I'm having a dandy Saturday morning. How is you? This was like 10 o'clock in the morning. Daddy, Petty, Patch Adams, one in a name, super chat. Man, this steak is good. Just saying. Oh, see, Shani. See what happens. See what you get to eat if you were to get a job. Yeah, she had a whole bottle of bourbon sitting right next to her boyfriend, who is a like an alcoholic. Okay, uh, where did they get the money to buy that? <clears throat> I'm asking because you can't get that shit on EBT. Mm-hmm. Oh, it gets better. Your Saturday morning starting. My starting, oh my God, I'm in horrible, tremendous pain. I think I'm going to fucking die. And I, and I remember, I didn't mean to do that. I remember, I gotta go back in the game, but I remember that my husband gave me some of this a while ago, so I was like, fuck it. So apparently, at some point before this, Jason had gone out and bought Jim Bean bourbon. Huh? And now they all of a sudden have it in the house, and she's like, you know what? I'm going to just drink because I'm in pain. Okay. So fuck it. I'm getting out of fucking pain. That's how I am doing right now. I'm getting out of goddamn pain. Look at that shit. Right out of the bottle. Hmm. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, G-Man's a tooth fairy. <laughs> like cough syrup. Ugh. That was a huge shot that she just took. We're talking about massive amounts of <laughs> pain. From what, Shani? You gonna elaborate on that? Why do you have pain, Shani? Could it be that you sit in the bed 24 hours a day and you don't ever move? Or you're 557 fucking pounds because you're eating 4,000 calories a day. Could that be it? Pretty sure that's it. Old habits die hard, don't they? For real. Alcohol is so bad for diabetics too. Yep. 
Hmm. Right? In my lower back and my knees. And I just can't <laughs> fucking do it anymore. <laughs> Dragnut, uh, two dollar super chat. Starlax, use swallow attack. <laughs> now there are some people that like, oh my god, a booze up shanty is a funny shanty. Yeah, she probably is. So tell your friends, idiots. Oh, I I am right, like right now, and I'm making money off of you ruining your life. So just I just want to rub that in, just just a little bit more. Okay. I'm interested in what it tastes like. Because I like you. I'll give you a little capful. She's going to give a capful of bourbon to an alcoholic. Oh my gosh. Okay. Don't, I, they better not ever say, oh, we don't drink ever fucking again. This is ridiculous. BBJ is anti KOC. Hey, okay. Uh, welcome to the dumpster fire. Thank you so much. Um, a boozed up shanty we call pickled pig's feet. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So you can, and you can have a taste test. All right, there we go. It's hard to hear with the music. I couldn't do anything about that. It's super annoying that she does streams like this. But in the background, he's basically saying, oh, my God, that's so great. I just want a whole bottle. And he's just, like, freaking out in the background. Away from you. Yeah. So, anyway. <laughs> Mother fuck. Keeping that away from you. It tastes really good. That would be my girl. That would smell like that. Uh, okay. Wow. I know, man. I'd be eating her peach every night. Oh, oh my God. You oh. eat my peach most nights. I want to. Look. Oh. Quality content, folks. Oh, gross. Gross, gross. They were e-begging for food after she spent $30 to $50 on a gaming car, too. Yep, I actually mentioned that. I think it was Thursday. She was bragging about how for $30, she got $30 somehow, and she spent $30 to get a $50 game card expansion so that she could play some online thing for the next year. And I'm just like, wow, way to go, priorities. Look at the baby. We have watermelon. She's sniffing. Hi, watermelon. No. <laughs> you don't know. You know how we have the chocolate milk, right, in the Cheerios? What yeah. if I had chocolate milk and Cheerios? <laughs> it's like reversed from like the cocoa pebbles and. and That's interesting. Because what? these taste, they're mild tasting. So, oh my God, that's a good idea. I need a bowl and a spoon so I can try set it in, uh, uh, experiment. They don't have a bowl or a spoon. Oh boy. Okay. Wow. Um, I just keep thinking about all the streams they did just a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, where they are just completely shitting on everyone who doesn't have seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars and all the all the stuff about oh peasants drink water and oh we're gonna gorge ourselves on like a four person amount of food in our bed and dip our entire hand in ranch and then you know brag about how we have money for all this food it's just amazing to me how far they have fallen and i am here for it because <laughs> it's funny it's really, really funny after all the stuff they said about people. Kristen C. 499 Super Chat. What's your IG? I have an important video for you. I don't actually do not have IG. So you can email it to me or you can DM me or hit me up on Discord, but I actually don't have an IG account. Sorry about that. Would chocolate milk and Cheerios go good together? What do you think? I think so.
What's up? By the way, Shani, um, if you're diabetic, which I, I think you are, you shouldn't be drinking alcohol. I'm just saying. Up, Elijah. I am becoming inebriated today. Because <coughs> I'm in a horrible pain. Dude, I'm telling you, I'm at that point where I'm like ready to go to the hospital and be like, dudes. Drug seeking. Yes, that's what she does. Um, 80s girl, member for four months. How long did it take for them to spend 700K? Um, I don't know the exact amount of time, but it seemed like they went, it, they went through most of it in like a three year period. And it was mostly food, clothes, games, electronics, just a bunch of junk they didn't need. And, oh, and also interesting enough, Rev was saying the other day about some Jonathan Kleck person he claimed that he gave Jonathan Kleck $30,000 like back in 2020 to, quote, invest in this guy's sunglass enterprise. And I was like, what? No, here's the thing. When he's talking, he's lying. So I don't know how much of that is true, but that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Yes, thank you. He, he spent a lot of money on cameos. He spent money on... um setting up stuff for like only fans and all this stuff that they did. Uh, they also, uh, what was the other stuff that they were spending it on? It was just, all, Oh, um, cryptocurrency. Um, he was also cashing out stocks. Um, when he probably was, could have reinvested the dividend instead, instead of they were just cashing it out every quarter. And so I, I'm sure that hurt him as well. Yes, thank you, Drag Rev. Also bought all of Alex Jones' uh, shit, apparently. Yeah. Bought all the all his merch, all his uh, male enhancement pills, all of that stuff, which is, wow. Yeah. Uh, AJ Perry, $5 super chat. As a martial arts geek, I find that yellow track suit to be kind of offensive. Bruce Lee wouldn't approve at all. <laughs> Um, they went through the money in about three years and took out more loans to get into very deep debt, about 120 K in loans, according to Jason. Holy crap. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yep. And thank you, Yato. He was, he would go to like Negs and, um, a bunch of other people and they would donate $50, a hundred dollars super chats in to buy loyalty to basically say, Hey, I'm going to donate to you and be your channel member at the highest level. And I want you to go after the people that I don't like. So there was a lot of that going on. They, they nickel and dime themselves to death. Listen, I'm not a drug pusher. I just want to make that clear. You're a drug seeker. I am a woman who suffers from fibromyalgia and, and severe osteoarthritis all through my fucking legs, bros. This sucks. And no, more like liabetes and diabetes. And I'm in tremendous pain today. Is there a way you could get me something like something like a shot in the ass of something, tortor doll or something like that, some kind of fucking like really extreme or even morphine even just shoot. Okay. Okay. First of all, anybody who's been in like really excruciating pain, they're not talking and laughing like this. Okay. I've had periods of time where I've been in such extreme pain. Like it's overwhelming. You can't speak. And for me, the way that my body reacts is when it gets to a certain level, I just start getting, I just start throwing up. It just, it just makes me sick and it won't, I won't stop until the pain subsides. And that's just how it is. People that are in like level 10, level 20 pain, they're not laughing and talking and taking uh, bourbon shots and all this kind of bullshit. They're not doing that. She's, com I don't believe her. She's lying. Shoot it in my fucking ass and make me feel better. I feel like doing that, but you know, I've done it 
a few times at the hospital and they don't kind of they, they're kind of like yeah about that shit but it's like when you're under such scrutinizing pain what the fuck do you do scrutinizing pain mm. i think she just told on herself <laughs> scrutinizing pain not just regular pain but pain that that isn't validating okay I only laugh hysterically because I was in pain from my gallbladder, but it was all I could do and nothing else. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine with that kind of pain being on Twitch, taking shots, laughing, you know, talking, doing all this stuff like it's 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 a joke. Uh, when I barf, I know I'm at level nine. Yeah. Yeah. I get Toradol shots every two weeks for sciatic nerve pain. Yikes. That's painful. It's just an anti-inflammatory with very minute amounts of pain reliever. Yeah. I, I mean, there's a lot of people that have kind of debunked the things that she has said about medication, about pain, about a lot of the things that she uh, uh, claims. And yeah, that's an, clearly it's, it's bullshit. And she's drug seeking. That, that's basically what it is. Um, thank you for the cash app. I'm not sure if you want me to say your name or not, because I'm not sure what your YouTube name is, but thank you very much. I appreciate that. Like you have to go to the hospital, but yet the hospital's like, you're, you're for the drug. No, I'm not. Well, oh. yes, I am, but not, not for those reasons. Oh, so she admitted the hospital told her, oh, that's funny. Oh, that's really funny, Shani. Aha. Uh -huh. Not getting any drugs this time. It's for the reasons that I'm in severe fucking pain and I feel like I'm breaking in half. Well, I mean. Please have mercy on my fucking soul. If you broke in half, you would be a normal person size. So, okay. A little mic gain. Okay. Right there. So, if this gets a little loud, let me know and I'll turn it down. But so now this is the Wendy's Gate stream, okay? The person bought him a Wendy's meal and said, "Hey, I want you to I want you to eat it because hey, you know what? Actually, didn't even plan this, but Drag actually played the recording cuz he actually talked to the woman who donated. Let me um I think it's at the beginning of the stream. This one. Hold on one second. That was a great rant, by the way, Drag. That was an excellent rant. Where is it? Is it the beginning? Oh, it is. Okay, my bad. Okay. Okay. So this is the beginning of drag stream where he's actually talking to the woman who donated to them for, or actually donated to Jason for the Wendy's meal. And I thought it was really interesting. And instead of me just telling you what she said, you can just hear it for yourself. Cover. Yes, he did. I mean, I used who I am online. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, everybody thinks I'm a boy, but I'm a girl. No. <laughs> well, all, all all banks are male. I don't know if you knew that. Oh. Okay. So. Okay. So what? So what actually happened? Because I know that you uh, you had communicated to me right after the event. Because I didn't actually see the video. Uh, I was in Discord mm -hmm. talking to uh, a Sock Account and a few others. And they had mentioned something had happened, and then it was at the same time that you were sending me the messages about uh, the whole treat stream thing. So, from your point of view, um, I guess at the beginning, what was your sort of motivation for getting the treat stream and the stipulations? Well, I woke up super early this morning. I live in Eastern Standard Time, so I was up at four o'clock and headed to North Carolina to uh, two hours away. And had to run an errand. Actually, I was dropping off a kidney <laughs> to oh, wow. the hospital out there. And uh, so when I got back, um, I was going to crawl in the bed and sleep for another hour or two. And uh, as I was scrolling through YouTube to see 
you know, what I could fall asleep listening to, I saw his account pop up with two videos. So I had missed his two begs. Please, we're poor, we're hungry, give us food. Uh, and I just couldn't believe the audacity. And I was so angry. I was so angry. And then my mind just started turning and I started plotting. And so I'd never used Treat Stream before. So I just kind of logged on there to see what they were asking for. And like everything was so expensive, but I wanted to see that sandwich, right? And um, I couldn't figure out how a, a 12 foot sandwich could, I mean, 12 inch sandwich could be. You that, know, that expensive. Twenty one, twenty two dollars. Yeah, exactly. What she's talking about is that originally Shani was e begging for someone to buy her what's called a fat bastard. And people looked into it. It's like a two foot long sandwich. It's thirty five hundred calories and anywhere between twenty dollars and twenty five dollars, depending on add whatever what you add to it and how long you want it and all that stuff. So yeah, for those that were wondering how she was maintaining her weight while everyone else was starving, yeah, if she's eating fat bastards and stuff like that, then yeah, 3,500 calories a day will absolutely maintain that weight. Exactly. And I saw what all was on it, and I could not believe, first of all, that Shani, at her size, would have the balls to ask for that sandwich. Like, just, it's not even a normal grown up man's sandwich. No, yeah. I guess it's a, a sandwich that was designed for Shani, really, when you think about <laughs> And I know that if, if somebody donated that sandwich to Shani, Rev was not going to see any little bit of it. But oh. I knew nobody was going to donate that sandwich to Shani because that was, that was repugnant. I mean, that was audacious. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, well, let me get back at her because she made them do that, right? So let me get back at her. I remember... Uh, treat stream not too long ago in which they were begging for food and it was I don't know 12 11 12 at night and they um, They were each asking for different things and somebody sent Shani something and not Rev and she didn't share one damn bite mm. Right with anybody and I and yes, there was a stream. I did find it on XX Archive, but I did not have time to sort of go through the entire thing and find the timestamps of where where that happened. <clears throat> Essentially, what happened was somebody treat treated uh, Shani and was like, oh, you know, this is for you. And she was eating it and she was basically telling, uh, she was eating it on camera in next to Jason and telling him, oh, well, you're not going to get any of this. This is just mine. Maybe they'll donate to you in the future and stuff like that. So, yeah, it, it's kind of fucked up. I remembered that. And I was like, well, when she gets a treat stream, because somebody had included on that note, this is just for you, Shani. I remember something like that. But the reason why she wasn't going to share with Rev, she just kept taunting him, saying, well, maybe you could try to get them to send you something. Because this was mine. So, she, yeah, me mine. now that you mentioned that, yeah, I do remember that now. Uh, and so you, you, the, so the inspiration was basically something that occurred with Shani and she was okay with those stipulations. But now, now that Rev is getting something and there's mm -hmm. stipulations on it that she can't receive it. Now it's a problem. Yeah. Because, you know, she's laying down because she's too tired to sit up uh, because she's starving. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> okay. that's probably where Gavin Kit Kats went, right? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> like I turn into, so into tofu. I decided, <laughs> I, my sole instinct was just to get revenge on her because I'd always remembered how she did that to him. And I do not condone, I've been lectured today all day long from different YouTubers about how I should not have been supporting Rev and his child abuse by feeding him. And that thought didn't initially occur to me that that's what I was doing. All I was thinking in my hot little head was, this is a great time to get back at Shani. Fair enough. So, um, yeah. So, and so that's what I did. And the sucker went and went on her Twitch when he got the food. And I did not get her that sandwich, by the way. I picked the cheapest thing on the treat stream, which was a Dave Thomas. And I didn't know what a Dave Thomas was. Yeah. And I don't know if Rev named the order of the Dave Thomas or whatever, but it was whatever they were sent. And mm. it looked like nuggets, a chicken sandwich, fries, and a drink. 
and there might have been something else. I'm not really sure, but it was like $18. And I said, well, hell, I'll, I'll do that to humiliate Shani. And, um, <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love this person so much. Um, Mango Matcha VA 999. Sorry I'm late. Want to say hi, Toast, and let Shani know that the closest she ever got to a psych degree was being the subject of my paper. Oh my gosh. Not usually this petty, but I got an A on it. Yeah, girl. Good job. Good job. I remember you telling me that you were going to be doing that. That's amazing. Oh, see that, Shani? You really are famous now. He at 12.44 p.m. That I must have sent out it. My receipt says 12.22 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I've got my PayPal receipt. Mm. So then at 12.44, he puts up a notice that he was going to be going live, and it was to mukbang the food from JPM Morgan. That yeah. you bought him, yeah. <laughs> and then, so I'm sitting there in the chat going, oh, my God, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Because I had written a note when I sent him the sandwich or the, the date, Thomas. I'd written a note on there, and I said, this comes with a stipulation. You have to eat this uh, by yourself, and you're not allowed to share it, and you have to do it on camera. And and then the next thing I did, I did write a, a, a sentence about Shani. I said, Shani can afford to miss a few meals. <laughs> <laughs> and that apparently is what sent her spiraling. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> because What's if you've seen her Twitch stream, she grabbed all the food from Jason. Oh. <laughs> and she was the one dividing that food up and telling him how many fries he was going to get. Oh. And she's the one cutting the sandwich. Uh -huh. mm. And she sat there with her smug little ass, insinuating, no, not, not insinuating, but out saying that I was trying to uh, flirt with him or come between them or something like that, start a fight. A harlot. I didn't want to start a fight between them. <laughs> this was my fight against Shani. You whore. Mm. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, we all know that all women who are, um, you know, under 500 pounds are a threat to Shani. So, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> you made the cut for that and you got caught in the crossfire, it looks like. So, uh, but I, I appreciate you. <laughs> I appreciate you <laughs> explaining what actually happened. So, I'm about to go live. I'm actually... So that was all that she said. It's at the beginning of his um, of his stream. So feel free to go back and watch if you like. Um, I can put the link in the description when we're done. Uh, so yeah, so that's what happened uh, as far as like the perspective of the person who actually donated the money for the treat stream. And this is what happened when it started. So this is when they're actually eating the food. Is that better? Gain right there. Yeah. There we go. Better? That sounds good. More. Gain. That's better. Hi. That's better. Shut up, Shannon. Again, she's so loud, so and her, her audio is fucked. So if it's too loud, please let me know. Hi. Better. Shut up, Shannon. Anyway. Hello, pioneer woman. Hello, old weather guy. Hi, guys. So, you want to explain what happened here? I did a live stream trying to get somebody to treat stream Shanny. Then somebody treat streamed through uh, a Dave Thomas single. And they said, this is for you, Jason, and only you. Uh, Shanny can, this is a quote, Shanny can afford to lose a few meals <laughs> so then i in turn turned my aggression outwardly and had her have the fucking sandwich so there you go we're gonna share it we're gonna teach people what it's called sharing mm. and and we realized they did this because they want us to fight amongst each other and no Okay. We're going to prove that ain't going to work. So we have some, some, some fries. Yeah, that's a medium meal. Some that's Dave good. Thomas fries. <laughs> some chicken nuggets. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> yeah, what the fuck, Sharon? Cool. Yep, we got some chicken nuggets with sweet and sour sauce. Nice. 
And then we got a Dave Thomas single with However, make it. Yeah, and and a soda, which I want to partake in. They didn't. It just amazes to me how big her hands are when she can, like, manhandle that large drink. It, that's just amazing to me. That's crazy. That's crazy to me. Todd Malicote, five dollars super chat. Remember, folks, this is what happens when you donate to a wildebeest. That's right. This is what happens when y'all donate to them. She's going to control the food because she's got to control everything. Our Azrael $2 super chat, it's only sharing when she has nothing. <laughs> Very true. Very true. Sharon. Sharon. You have a straw. So I'm like... Sippy, sippy. Gross. Nice Thank you, Jesus. <sighs> yes. That's a good quality cup. It is. This is diet too for what I got diet. So, you get two chicken nuggets. You'll probably get most of the fries because I don't like that many fries. Okay, cool. That's yours. Okay. I'm getting this all done. What possesses people to donate money and food to them? I think it's different reasons. I think some people do it just to troll them, just to fuck with them or whatever, like the lady who gave money just to just to be petty. I love that. So funny. There are people that unfortunately donate to them because they, for whatever reason, buy the bullshit. They buy into the tears and the, I'm dying of cancer, you know, like nonsense, and they they get duped. Other people I've noticed, especially the ones that stick around and defend them online, are the ones that are just as abusive as they are. They're liars. They they have the, some of the similar traits uh, that Shani and Rev do. Uh, Kristen C. 49 Super Chat. Thank you for all you do. Please check your Twitter DM. I think you'll like what I send. Okay, cool. Uh, BGTV, what's up? 499 Super Chat. I heard Rev was in tears begging for food for Shani. Is this true? Because I need to see it if it's so. Uh, I think think so i don't know if he was in tears but he did like two streams yeah after this we, we can go back on uh, xx and we'll watch it it was actually pretty funny just a warning there's a fupa siding oh no gross and put together and then the dave single split that in half let's see how the nuggets have they changed I don't think I've ever had. They didn't change at all. I don't. Oh, this is a chicken sandwich. What the hell? This is a chicken club, dude. Okay. All right. Hey, it works. Well, that must have randomly showed up because I could have sworn I added a Dave Thomas single, single hamburger to that. Whatever. That's a great song. Hmm. Y'all, wow. Okay. Do y'all see this, like, um, what looks like a pillow? That's part of her ass, I believe. Pretty sure it's part of her ass. Or her leg, upper, upper leg. So she literally goes from here all the way to here. Girl, you could have skipped this uh, Wendy's meal. I'm just saying. The nuggets have really no flavor. I taste it. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Now the plaid is the pillow behind her. Let me see the fries. They're good. Mm-hmm. They're and I've noticed that she does this a lot. Well, she will sit with her legs tucked underneath her. Like she sits almost like um, she'll sit on her legs or on her ankles a lot. And I'm just like, well, no wonder your legs hurt. You have your legs in like this weird position. And then, yeah, it, when you sit like that for 24 hours, you get up, your hips are going to hurt. So it, it, yeah, she doesn't have any of this diseases. She's just lazy. Better dumped in a frosty. Mm. 
It'd be pretty good in a frosty, wouldn't it? Really good. Thank you for the foods. Thank you. This one, this one goes out to JPM. Thank you. But both uh, of us need to eat, so. Yeah, I don't agree with that. That spot on the green screen behind her is grease from her filthy hair. Oh my God. Oh, I just noticed that. Oh, that's so gross. Oh my gosh, that's so gross. Oh God. Oh. Thank you for pointing that out. Appreciate it. <laughs> uh -huh. Mango Matcha 499 Super Chat. I asked my brother who doesn't know Shani if he could take her in a fight, and he said, with those paws, no. But I could overrun outrun that beast. I died. Oh my goodness. Y'all are so mean today. We actually do. Hello, Katie. <laughs> hmm. That's good. They're saying you scam them by eating food. <laughs> I was asking for a treat stream for Shannon. And they put a message. They're really disgusting. Look at these horrible people. Man. You know what I think is disgusting is that you scratch that nasty infection on your head. Then you touch the food. Then you lick your lips. Then you touch the food. Then you lick your lips. Then you touch the food. Then you scratch your greasy head. Then you touch the food. Uh, that's disgusting. Really bad people. <laughs> Becky, that's funny. No one's horrible for eating. I split it with you. Right? We're just going to enjoy our food, let them talk, man. Yeah, and it's really good, so I appreciate it. Same. Mm. Wow. This is a treat. By the way, at the end of this, she does kind of rage quit a little bit. She doesn't yell, but she, she starts getting upset and then quits very suddenly. I would not sit here and eat this alone <laughs> with her here. Like, give me a break. She you ends know, up and deleting it. if I got it. something, I couldn't sit there and let and eat it alone without exactly. sharing with you. We share. Mm-hmm. It's what we do. Good God. Some other people should learn that. Mm -hmm. Here, here's a tip, guys. Since you want to make this your job, how about turn the background stuff down? Like whatever you got going on in the movie, just turn it down when you're gonna have commentary on, on a live stream. My God. Well, you know what? I think you should learn your lesson and not try to pit people against each other like that. Sorry. There is no shit, no scam with sharing food. I didn't do anything. I didn't agree to nothing. Well, that person's never going to give again. I don't care. It was meant to be malicious. So if you're going to be like that, Shannon gets half of it then. I should not. You should eat the whole thing from her. And that right there is why no one, yeah, see see that right there? Any ounce of like, oh, I feel kind of bad for him because even though he is a perpetrator, he's also a victim from her. Yeah, that just kind of squashes it. Fuck you, Rev. Starve. But thank you either way. Maybe learn not to be malicious.
I'm just saying. Maybe learn not to be malicious. I agree. Maybe learn not to pit people against each other. And maybe don't be coming on to another woman's man. Girl, ain't nobody doing that. Get your insecurities in check because you're making yourself look real dumb. Real dumb right now. Someone should try to modify a treat and give them like one sandwich or a drink. <laughs> yeah, if somebody if somebody did do that, it would have to be such a small thing like a snack or something <laughs> made for one person to where there'd be impossible for them to like split it. That would be funny. You know, I mean, I don't know who's there. There's an avatar face wolves and it's JP. Yeah. Mm. Well, right. It's exactly, Todd. Again, this is the things you get for giving them anything right. They sit here and beg and beg and beg and beg to the people that they've been shitting on for, what, three, four years now? And then somebody finally gives them food, regardless of the motivations. They gave him food when he asked for it. And what do they do? They do an entire Twitch stream uh, trying to attack them and accuse them of breaking up your marriage like girl stop it you're not even married good thank you yeah try to be a better person next time that's what i'm saying oh yeah you agree they need to try to be a better person yeah you know, if I wanted to be petty, I would send her a tiny side dish of steamed broccoli. There you go, bitch. Have lunch. That was low down shitty of you. I didn't even go on for myself. It wasn't for me. It's for you. <laughs> Trying to make a, a woman who's sick upset? What is wrong with you? Yeah, and specifically mention this is for you and do not give it to you. Yeah. Then you're happy. And this is after she said that people shouldn't use their mental illnesses or their physical disabilities as a shield to avoid having to answer for their terrible behavior. Remember that, Shani? That was like, what, a week ago? Two weeks ago? And this happened, if you say that to me. So, whatever. That's <coughs> done. <coughs> Yeah, Wendy's got a good chicken sandwich. It's always solid. They didn't change it. They really didn't change it. I mean, these are the same people crying that I'm with a child abuser and I'm enabling a child abuser. Oh, you are. And you're also yourself a child abuser. Y'all both enable each other. Doesn't that mean you're enabling one now? Yeah, I mean, that's true. <sighs> yeah. That's what I thought. They got nothing more to say. By the way, Shani, hi, I'm the person making money on your cooking videos. Fuck you for that, too. Haha. -ha. Jesus does not love you. My God. People are butthurt that, that I shared uh, something with you. So that's cool. he, he, they're butthurt that you shared a meal with me. Be mad. Be mad that Jason wasn't selfish. Yeah, And you just wanted to do that just to be cruel. So be mad. Oh, we're not mad. We're laughing at you because you're too stupid to realize that we're all laughing at you. Be mad that you weren't allowed to be cruel. 
Hi, Sailing Mac, you sweetie baby. How are you? Mmm. Thank you, GPM. That was delicious. PGTV 499 Super Chat. Shani made a good point. Don't support child abusers. Yep. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I wasn't prepared for that. I was looking right at it. I was looking right at it, too. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm not rewinding that. Devoured. I doubt it will be the last. <laughs> BGTV, you can rewind it. I'm not doing it. I currently don't have any ownership of my cooking videos. They were stolen from me. Me. <laughs> By the way, ask me how I know she's not wearing underwear. Oh. So, someone else is making money off them. Oh my Me? god, that's amazing. Your cooking video. Yep. That's now my content, bitch. Do you want your report hat? the treat stream, folks? Do you want the, you're gonna report I the don't care. Stream? What? Do you want this? <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> So let me get this. You give a meal to Jason for him to eat. He decides to share it with me and you call it a scam. I mean, that's what a treat stream is. People buy you food and then they attach a note and say, this is for you or this is for that person. So yeah, you, he it was technically a scam. She gave money for a specific reason and then he didn't honor that. Because the person specifically asked that it's for me and not you. The stream, the live stream, was for Shani. I reported you to treat stream in YouTube because I ate some food. Okay. Okay, Jen. You go, you go report that. Let's just see. You can't stipulate who eats what. That's not something you can stipulate. <laughs> you can try and go. You can go report it. Someone else ate the food. They, they shared a meal together. Yeah. Well, I mean, you guys had treat streams where it was like, oh, buy this for the boys. And there were people that were buying that meal thinking that it was going to the boys. And who ate it? Shanny did. The boys weren't getting it. They're starving. They're underweight. Like, they're not getting any of that. So, yeah, it is kind of a scam. Yeah, it's not even... Ban them! Ban them for sharing a meal together. I don't give a shit. How's that? <laughs> you go fuck themselves. I'm done arguing with you. Bye. <laughs> she I have, cool. I, I come over. Okay. So then after that was over, uh, Rev comes back and does this on his YouTube channel. Bitching. To a 23 audience people, uh, there's 23 audience peoples here. So this is the reason why I did it. Okay. Shani is all about teaching lessons to make you a better person. That's the main reason. Okay. Yeah, that's hilarious. But any she's all about teaching us lessons so that we can be a better person. Wow. So the fact that I don't like, you know, abuse my children, I guess I'm failing her how to be a great mom class, right? Did I and am I failing that? Dang it. Anyway, I did it. Because the treat streams that I, uh, the treat stream live streams I was doing were not for me, number one. They were for my wife. But it's teaching you a lesson 
okay? Yeah, you're the one, you're laughing your ass off, JPM, okay? That's who gave the, that's who gave it, okay? They told me to not give anything to my wife specifically. Does anyone remember in those videos where he was asking for food, was he saying, we're hungry, we need food? Or was he saying, hey, can you give money to Shani? I'm going to go after we do these videos that I have lined up. I'm going to go back and look. That doesn't jive with me. Shani, again, has taught you to be a better person by teaching you an ideal in life, which is to share. You're all re unrepentant, absolute rep retrobates. Re <laughs> I actually said retrobate. You are reprobates that need to repent to the Lord because you show it with your behavior every day of un unforgiveness, unkindness, and, and nothing in your heart. Now, what would Jesus have me do? I know that he would have you get a job, job. He would have you get a job and he would have her get a job and not abuse those kids anymore. That my wife is hungry. What would Jesus have me do? He'd say, you give her that chicken sandwich and you go out and get her a Big Mac too. That's what Jesus would say. So you guys are punked again because you act like the devil. Shame on you. Shame. Shame. All right. So then she goes on Instagram to bitch some more. I mean, this JP person made her very upset. And so, yeah, this is what she says on there. Need to educate stupid people. So, I guess I'll, I'll start this by educating stupid people. So, I didn't cause this. It's not nothing to do with me, really, at the end of the day. It's just how stupid people are, or cold. I don't know which one it is. I'd rather think of them as stupid than cold. Um, so... Kristen Cure, $5 Super Tat. <clears throat> she is just like Jesus and the parables. Thank God, Shani. <laughs> if you didn't hear, someone got Wendy's meal for Jason. And Jason, you know, split it in half for me to eat. Because we don't really have that much food in the house. Mm. Um, um, so. um, why is that, Shani? Oh, 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 I forgot. You don't work. And he doesn't work. And you also are too lazy to go to food banks and other places that are like very close to where you are. You could probably walk to some of them or a very quick drive to go somewhere where you could get free food. And I've been thinking a lot about why they just won't go to these food banks and these other like ministries and organizations and charities that would give them bags of groceries. And then they would still have their EBT to buy the things, other things that they didn't get at, you know, the charities. Right. So I'm like, okay, well definitely one reason is she's super lazy. But then I was thinking if she were to actually get off her ass and go to these places and, and be like, you know, we're indigent, uh, we're basically homeless. We don't have any food. Can we get some food? Can we get some shampoo or whatever? As if she uses that. Okay. I think one of the reasons why she doesn't want their food is because the food that they're going to give her is things like, you know, flour, vegetables, canned vegetables, uh, pasta. It's stuff that she was ha she would have to actually cook and not be lazy like that day to actually have food. I don't think that she wants regular food. I think that she wants fast food. She wants the fat bastard, right? She wants somebody to, to buy her a 3,500 calorie sandwich because she doesn't want, you know, flour to make bread or canned vegetables or fruit. She doesn't want any of that bullshit. She wants to eat fast food. And I think that that's a huge part of why she's not wanting any of their food because she knows it's just going to sit there. 
you know, what is Jason going to do? Cook? Yeah, right. <laughs> so I think that's a huge part of why they won't go to these places and get the free food. We split and ate it together. So the person who gave the food got mad about it. Because apparently they put a, a little comment down saying, don't share it with Shannon. She could lose a few meals. Okay. That's so, true. That's true. You let could. Me, let me point this out. Um, I've been losing a lot of weight lately. And the doctors don't know why. But um, also these people, these same people, they like to peg me as having diabetes. Shannon, pictures do not lie. You have gained a considerable amount of weight in the last six months. You haven't lost weight? What are you talking about? Girl, what are you talking about? Also, you're the one who has said in previous streams, in 2021, in 2020, every time you have gone and gotten your blood checked or whatever because you um, quote unquote, attempted to unalive yourself, which was really just a cry for attention and to drug seek. What did you do? You came back and were complaining that they were telling you that your blood sugar was too high. You probably do have diabetes or the very beginning of diabetes. That may be part of why you're having health problems right now. It's probably related to high blood, high blood pressure, high blood sugar. Like, I'm sorry, but there's no way that I'm going to believe somebody who's 600 pounds, who is a, lives a sedentary life, who eats nothing but junk, soda, Jim Bean, and fucking fast food every day, is going to sit there and be like, oh, I don't have diabetes. I don't have high blood pressure. I, bullshit. Bullshit. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I think that they're probably telling you that you are fastly approaching diabetes or you have the early stages of diabetes and you just don't want to admit it. So you're telling me you think I have diabetes and you're telling me that I need to skip meals having diabetes. Do you know anything about diabetes? And you do realize that skipping a meal if you have diabetes can be uh, life threatening, right? That's actually not true. Assuming she's talking about type 2 diabetes, you skipping a meal or going a couple of hours without eating is probably better for you at this point than you eating bread, alcohol, soda, sugar, um, all the other shit that you were eating in the last two days. That is way worse for your body if you have diabetes, allegedly, then if you were to just go a couple of hours and be like, you know what, I'm going to walk down the street a little bit to the food bank, get some exercise, and then get some free food, and then come back and eat that. I guarantee you what they're going to give you is going to be way healthier than what you've just eaten in the last 48 hours. Like someone's blood sugar could go super low and they could fucking die. I'm sure there's a lot of people who have had diabetes, who can tell you the worst thing you could do if you have diabetes is um, skip a meal. No, the worst thing you can do with type 2 diabetes, because I know people in my family that have that. And some of them do intermittent fasting, by the way, Shani. But you don't see them taking uh, bourbon shots and wanting a 3,500 calorie sandwich. That is way worse. Way worse. Because your blood sugar will either go really high or really low. And you could go into a coma and die. No. If your blood sugar goes low, it doesn't suddenly go high. That doesn't make sense, Shani. From that. But, you know, have it, them saying I have diabetes and I, I can use a couple skip meals... For my diabetes, it's obvious their ignorance to what diabetes is and how dangerous skipping a meal with diabetes would be. So, okay. So let me get this straight. Either 
A, you're ignorant to what diabetes is and what can make it worse. Or B, you you think I have diabetes and you know about skipping meals can cause death and you want me to die. So which or C, you're a moron and you're just trying to make excuses for why you need to control all the food in the house. Um, I have type 2 diabetes, scammy, and I have skipped meals and I'm still alive, but I eat healthy and exercise. See, there you go. Which one is it? Miss, I'm a good person. Which one is it? Just wondering. See, this is the reason why a lot of people hate me. Um, because I call them out on their bullshit. I call them out on their evil tendencies. And I correct it by actually giving proper education. So when I said that you were an R-ist, when you had statutory R with that 15-year-old, um, you said that I was a terrible person. For correcting you. Just wondering if, if, if that also applies. No. I did not get my blood work to say I had diabetes. I'm just saying what other people say I have. <laughs> so. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Telling someone who you think have diabetes they should skip their meals is incredibly dangerous. And um, you're going to kill someone someday by that. And it'll be your fault for giving such bad information out to someone and try to guilt someone into not eating when they Is it just me? Like, is that a shadow? Or does she have, like, sores on her mouth? I just noticed that. Should. So their blood levels are stabilized. I'm just saying, I'm just really sick of stupid, ignorant people in this world. Uh, you know, and, and not only are they, they stupid and ignorant, but they're mean-spirited at the same time. Um, thank you. Yes. Uh, my hubby has diabetes type 2. He skips lunch if he isn't hungry. There you go. Another example. Nurse Shani. So you got stupid ignorance and mean-spirited arrogance within this massive amount of people in, instead of looking that other people are watching you say these things to someone and it's not a good look. Like you could, you could go say whatever you want to me. You're still attacking me at the end of the day. Aww. You're still Poor making baby. yourself look bad by Aww. attacking me. You think just by attacking me, other people are going to look at you as a good person? No. That's not why I do this. I'm a flawed human being like everybody else. Never said I was perfect. <laughs> I never said that. But playing you in your own words and then giving the audience the opportunity to hear some of the stuff that you tend to delete and hide, right? And then they can make up their own mind. Don't get mad at me because they all come to the same conclusion that you're a piece of shit. Not even close. They're going to look at you as someone who likes to attack others based on what they think is wrong with them medically. Yeah, the hay fever is a little bit better today. AKA hangover because it's the day after Remember, because this was Sunday. This was yesterday that she did this stream. Saturday was when she was taking shots and drinking Jim Bean right from the bottle, like straight from the bottle. And then here she's having a hangover. And now it's, oh, I have, quote, hay fever. Okay, sure. Um, my hubby has type 2 diabetes and is having a colonoscopy tomorrow. He hasn't eaten in 24 hours. 
Oh no, the evil doctor told him he can't eat. What will he ever do? See, Shani, you don't die. Uh, please stop telling me what the fuck to do with my goddamn body. <laughs> but, um... Okay. You could cut out some calories. How many calories do you think I should cut out? 4,000. Huh? Since you know my diet so Four th well. 4,000? Like, girl, you were going to eat a 3,500 calorie sandwich just for lunch. You could cut all of that out. Like, I, I know that's hard for you to realize, but you know, like, the a normal person, like the average person um, that's not, you know, a bodybuilder or an, a professional athlete or dancer. They only need like one to 2,000 calories a day. A day, Shani. Not per meal. A day. No. Fucking idiots. <laughs> I know, right? It's I probably consumed less uh, calories today than most of you people here. Just, just to be honest. I don't think she realizes how many calories are in like drinking alcohol. Because it, it's just her, when your body, it's just become sh sugar. And then the burger or the chicken sandwich that she ate, the fries, the soda, it's just sugar, 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 sugar. <laughs> like, what is she talking about? Do you know what a vegetable is? Um, <laughs> Do you know what a fruit is? You know. Well, thank you, Free and Little Fancy, for that. Gas Mask says Jason looks so handsome. He is. Oh my God. Thank you. He is. He's 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 my rock. And he's there for me no matter what. I love you. I love you. You know, we just love each other unconditionally no matter what happens. And that's how it's going to be. That's codependency. Hi, Charlie. How are you? But telling someone who you think has diabetes they should cut out meals. Let me just send this is incredibly stupid and dangerous and you could possibly kill someone. Yeah, that's bullshit. Um, so that chicken sandwich that you ate, Shani, is 490 calories. 49 carbs and 29 grams of fat. I mean, 21 grams of fat. And 75 milligrams of, of polyunsaturated fat. Way to go. You're so healthy. Oh my I gosh. suggest you look it up how dangerous it is and dangerous it is to uh, stop eating when you have diabetes. Just see what happens. Just research and educate yourself for once before you open your mouth and look incredibly dumb. I, I just... <sighs> It's the most stupidest thing I've ever heard is telling someone they think is diabetic they should skip meals. It's either you're being really stupid or you're purposely being malicious and wanting to kill someone. I don't know which one it is. That's that's for you to know what your intentions are. But frankly, I really wouldn't want to have anything to do with someone who is either that ignorant or that cruel. To someone who they think has diabetes. That's that's not how type 2 diabetes work. I think she thinks it's type 1 diabetes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> She's so stupid. Oh, my gosh. AJ Perry, $10 super chat. Shani, I'm a delinquent. Attacking people is my deal. In your case, you're just pissy about the truth and want people to stop if you want that change your behavior and actually be a better person. Good advice. 
Uh, she she will never be though. Sorry. Simple as that. Like there there there's been patients of mine that I've taken care of. She's never had patients. <laughs> At all. Like this girl doesn't even have a high school diploma. She has 11th grade education. So where I had to persuade them. I couldn't force them, but I had to persuade them to eat because their blood sugar was dropping. All of that is a lie. That never happened. She never did that job. She's never been in that kind of a job. The Knitting Gamer $2 Super Chat, resting her chins on her tatas. Yes. Unfortunately, yes. But I love how she's out of breath just laying here. <sighs> yeah, okay, girl. You're so healthy. Thank you. Very dangerous. Yeah, it's dangerous. So stop doing that to people over the internet. Because you think you know it all. When the fact is, you can't go and watch someone on video, hear someone else's opinion on that person, and then expect to think that you know all about them. You you don't. You're but so far, I'm a little finished. Literally listening to rumors and gossip. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. So she said this same thing about her supposed mental illness. Well, what she neglects to tell everybody is that when she had her last, uh, well, court mandated psyche vow, she posted the results of that on her community tab. And there are those around who remember seeing it. I remember seeing it. Um, I don't know if I have a screenshot of it because she deleted it quickly thereafter, but she did post. And what did it say? She doesn't have borderline, that she's actually more in line with narcissism, histrionic. I think another one was like sociopath. Another one was like um, she like no empathy. Like there was a whole bunch of stuff. Right. And at the very bottom of a very long novel sized paragraph at the very bottom, it said sort of, it was like something like borderline tendencies. But the main thing that they were saying that she more than likely had was towards the top. Thank you. That was the other one. They said that she more than likely had antisocial personality disorder. That was way up at the top. Exactly. Todd Pepperidge farm remembers. That's right. I don't need to prove anything about my medical history. Those people. You know I have a right to privacy anyway. <laughs> then don't put it on YouTube. Well, both hyper and hypoglycemic are bad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, she doesn't have that. <laughs> but you said you don't have it, so you don't need to eat. No. Uh, I do need to eat. I am a human. I do have energy and I do bleed between my legs. Oh, for fuck's sake. Shannon. The fact that people are trying to force me to be anorexic is pretty fucked up. I, I cannot. With Sorry. This. <laughs> That's pretty fucked up. Trying to force someone to be anorexic because they don't like how their particular body looks. So let me get this straight. Uh, people saying that you shouldn't be eating a 3,500 calorie sandwich equates to telling you to be anorexic. Don't get the fuck out of here. That fat shaman, that, that shaming someone about how their body looks when they don't even know the details of what's going on with their body. You know that we've been watching you for a long time. Like there's people that had been watching your videos since Google Plus, like 10 years ago. So yeah, we see exactly what's going on because we are seeing it. You know, people who are bigger, they may have a hormonal imbalance. It may not have anything to do with food, but most people are so fucking ignorant about that that they think it's just about food because they're fucking ignorant idiots. Okay. Yes, there are people with things like thyroid issues and hormone issues, 
but those people aren't 700, 600 pounds. They're not 560 pounds, Shani. That's, you don't get to be almost 600 pounds because of your thyroid. That's a bullshit excuse that I've heard on that show, My 600 Pound Life. You ever watch that show? That is the go-to excuse for all the people that are on there. Oh, it's my thyroid. It's my hormones. And the doctor now is so funny because he's like, no, no, a thyroid doesn't make you 600 pounds. <laughs> it doesn't make you that big. I'm sorry. It doesn't. My Thank thyroid. you, Charlie. <laughs> And there's places where you can go and talk because you're not welcome here. So, toodles. Right. And that's exactly why I stream you, Shani. Because those people come over here because you block everybody. That's what happens. So, I guess thanks. Nora S, $5 Super Chat. You're doing a great job enjoying this. Thank you. Appreciate that. There's places for Jason to go to eat. Are you eating right now? Yeah, I am. Yeah, he's eating right now, you idiots. I'm eating cereal right now. Yep. Get my greens. Thank you very much. Oh, honey, no, you're not supposed to eat that. I'm supposed to eat it all. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's supposed to be my food. Don't you know? I'm supposed to eat it all. Understood. Yeah. There, I threw them a little fucking bone. Maybe they'll nibble on it for a little bit and not realize what fucking sarcasm is. Yeah, that's just not funny. Like, wow, you even fail at that. That was funny. Huh. huh. He's going to talk to the person that donated on the phone about it. Ooh. Can you believe that? Ooh. No, you want to keep food from Shani, I'll give it all to her. <laughs> so you do have food on the house. Thank you, Amanda. Exactly. Remember how she said earlier in the day, oh, we don't have any food in the house. This is the same day as the Twitch stream. But again, it, it gives credence to my theory that maybe they do have some food in the house, but it's not the kind of food that she wants. Therefore, she's saying, oh, we don't have anything to eat. Which is another reason why, like I said earlier, that I don't think that she's wanting to get the food from all these charities, that it's free, because it's not the kind of food that she wants to eat. It's not fast food, it's not onion rings, and Jim Bean, and soda. You should have not said that, and then I would have just probably eaten a meal on my own. Depending on what happened with Shannon. It's the most stupidest thing to bitch and complain about and try to make someone look evil is a man and wife sharing a meal. Ridiculous. A man and a wife sharing a meal and they're trying to make it into a big controversy. That's how fucking lame and stupid they are. Well, I decided this. You want me to address anything? Or no, no, it's All okay. Right. I don't need to fucking explain it. I'm just saying it's incredibly dangerous yeah. to s tell someone who they think has diabetes they should skip meals. Mm -hmm. That's They're going to fucking kill someone that way. Well, you almost did kill someone by telling a severe alcoholic to qu quit cold turkey. Remember that? has nothing to do with me at the end of the day. I'm thinking about people who actually do have diabetes and hear shit like that and think it's okay. No, they hear you and think, hmm, you're lying. I mean, that's what the people in my chat are saying. And the people that I know that have type 2 diabetes would also say the same thing. They are not going to die if they skip a meal. That's bullshit. Like, the ignorance of people, the ignorance of people telling me that I shouldn't eat. Imagine if someone was that abusive to you. 
because that what? is abuse. Oh, period. Oh, really? That's abusive is not having someone eat. Really, Shani? Like you did with your kids? When they were starving and you withheld food from them? Thanks so much for admitting it. That's amazing. Wow, you finally told the truth. Wow, you are being better. Awesome. Telling someone they shouldn't eat. Forcing someone to not eat. It's abusive. It is. Yeah. Mm. So you can go look abusive to people. That's, that's, that's cool. That, that'll look real cool on you. Yeah, it does look kind of uh, cool on you, right? Um, I love the fact that you've lost your kids now. I just want to point that out again. I hope you never get them back. You know, you could go look that way to people. I'm, I, I'm just sheerly shocked by the sheer ignorance of a so-called community that's filled with doctors, nurses, and scientists. I'm just kind of shocked at the stupidity and it just makes me realize no wonder our medical field is shit Man, and our point. science field is shit because most of the people from the medical and science field are given bad information to people over the internet because they don't like them. That's some petty ass shit there. That's some dumbass fucking shit. That's some childish fucking shit and not only that but it goes completely against your hippocratic oath wow okay for my medical professionals in the chat that is not my profession but i know some of y'all are yes she actually just fucking said that mm -hmm. she did that you took you think just because you, you, you're you on the internet, your Hippocratic Oath goes out the door? No. Or do you have no honor or sincerity to you? I don't know. Which one is it? See, I know exactly why people don't like me. Because I tell them how it is. Straightforward. And I don't care if they get mad at me for it. Because I'd rather have people properly educated when it comes to dealing with people with diabetes than putting it out there that it's okay to skip meals if you're diabetic. Okay. I'm starting to think that you're telling us that you have diabetes. So, okay. I'm going to just go with, since you claim every other disease, I'm going to say Shani for Christ has diabetes. There. Happy? No, you should not skip meals if you're diabetic. That's incredibly dangerous. Do not listen to these insane, ignorant people. Do not listen to them. You, you could kill yourself by doing it. You could go into a coma. Your blood sugar can drop tremendously real fucking fast. I don't think she understands how insulin works. Uh, wow. Okay. Sure. Like, I, I had gestational diabetes. I know how it feels to have diabetes. Shocker. Shocker. In, in case you don't know what gestational diabetes, it's, it's, it's diabetes caused by pregnancy. The hormones in pregnancy cause, can cause diabetes. I'm, the, I had it twice. It's also... You're higher risk for it when you are obese, when you get pregnant too. That makes you a higher risk patient as well. In both pregnancies. They told me it was going to happen in my other pregnancy. You know, you most likely, your next pregnancy, you're going to have it again. I'm like, yeah, I know. You know, so while I was pregnant, I went on a diabetic diet. I pretty much still eat that way <laughs> what
Oh boy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, nurses and doctors in the chat. Um, is uh, Jim Beam bur bourbon uh, on the diabetic <laughs> diet? I'm just wondering. Because if it is, well, damn, <laughs> I'm doing the wrong thing, I guess. Uh, let, let's see. Uh, how about a, a chicken sandwich that's almost 500 calories alone by itself? Has like 48 grams of carbs. <laughs> is that the diabetic diet? How about the fries? Oh, wait, the chocolate cake and the Diet Coke. I mean, the Dr. Pepper. I'm sorry. She would, she would never drink Diet Coke. Gross. That's for peasants. I'm sorry. The Mountain Dew and the Dr. Pepper. Oh, and the gallon jug of sweet tea. Is that diabetic diet? Is it? Wow. And what about the fact that they said they had had pizza three days in a row? Is pizza from like Pizza Hut or whatever, or Papa John's, is, is that the diabetic diet too? Well, dang, man, I'm, I'm on the wrong diet if that's the case, because wow, okay. Um, cause I really do like the diabetic diet. <laughs> um. Remember that time where she said she mostly eats the vegetables? Okay, girl. All right. When you're poor, though, it makes it a lot more tougher. Aw. Poor baby. You know, just to make it, just to make a point. Do you know a piece of bread has more carbs than a Snickers bar? Okay. Um, don't know if I believe that. I think I looked it up at one point. That a piece of bread has more carbs than a Snickers bar. Let me see. Okay, found a website. Uh, wheat bread, let's just say wheat bread has approximately 20 carbs and a Snickers bar has 34. Girl, what? Stop it. Yeah, that's like, the fuck? What? A piece of bread is worse for your blood sugar than a Snickers bar. No, is it's what I'm trying no, to say. it's not. It's got more of a glucose glucose count. What? Okay. D I I'm going to ask a really dumb question here, guys. Does she know that um, carbs is essentially sugar? Okay. Uh, my bad. Of course she didn't. How am I feeling? Not good. Very low energy today. Oh, I wonder why. Um, but have a migraine to tell you the truth and going through hangover countless hot flashes and cold flashes. So that's called a hangover from the bourbon. I, I could do better. Anyway, I could be better. There's no way I can be better right now, though. Because I have to go through the hormonal change of the month. Okay. Um, Shani, quit saying that you are menopausal or perimenopausal if you continue to get your periods on clockwork, like every month. That tells me you're nowhere near that part of your life for fuck's sake you're still in your 30s i hate being a woman for that reason but despite that and my cycle yeah please stop telling people who you think have diabetes that they should skip meals especially when you're from a community full of doctors nor nurses and and scientists, please stop putting that ignorant shit out there. This is a little shanty PSA. 
Uh, if you're diabetic, please don't skip your meals. Please eat every single meal. It is important to maintain your blood sugar levels. Okay, don't listen to anything that she just said. Follow your actual doctor and do what your doctor tells you because this bitch has almost killed people with her great advice. Remember when they went on the train tracks and she was like, trust me, I have great instincts. Yeah, she almost got them killed, okay? Don't listen to anything she's saying. Please listen to your doctor. End of story. The Mud Rucker, remember for eight months? Thank you so much. Quit bad mouth and bourbon. Bourbon is life. Yeah, I'm sure she's regretting it now, though. I think she had too much. It is extremely dangerous, and you could kill yourself. But I figure most of you would know that. But some people don't. So please stop being ignorant. That's dangerous ignorance. It is. Actually, yeah. Malicious. <laughs> <laughs> no. If you're diabetic, make sure you get two chicken sandwiches from Wendy's and go ahead and treat yourself to that frosty and go with the fries. <laughs> right, exactly. Like that's supposed to be so great for a diabetic. Please. Todd Malakut, $10 super chat. Nobody said people with diabetes should skip meals. That's correct. They said you could stand to skip a few because you know what that, because you know that's a good therapy for diabetes, losing weight. Exactly. Exactly. Imagine if she just cut out all the fast food and all the soda and was eating the food that these food banks are willing to give her for free she would lose a massive amounts of weight. One of the things that I noticed when you watch that uh, My 600 Pound Life show is that the doctor on there will say that when you get to, you know, you know, six, around 600 pounds like she is, when you make a small change, you will lose huge chunks of weight, 40 pounds, 50 pounds, and they lose a lot of weight at first. And then it slows down as they get closer to their goal weight. She could lose a ton of weight. And if she did, she probably would be less likely to get diabetes if she doesn't already have it. And I mean, that's one of the main uh, things. Thank you, Todd. That's one of the main things to help you when you do have type two diabetes is lose weight, uh, maybe do like a keto diet kind of a thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, but the first thing that your doctor is going to tell you is you need to lose some weight and um, get a little healthier. And there's no way that she's going to sit here and be like, oh, yeah, a Snickers bar is better for you than bread. Like, holy crap. No, I, mean, it's, I, I have no words. It's bread so is not a good. You will not. Don't. It's not in the diabetic diet is bread, dude. Oh, it's not. The scenic index is off the chart. It's not. Glyce the glycemic index on wheat bread is horrible. Oh, it's, it's horrible. Um, Maybe kill I know, right? It's like you gotta look into this stuff before you say something. Like everyone needs to start looking into stuff before they say something. Because you're telling someone who knows better that they should do something incredibly stupid and dangerous and it's like I mean, I'm not diabetic, but if I was, I definitely would say how stupid it is. Okay, well, now you're saying you're not diabetic. Well, then if you're not diabetic, then you could stand to skip a meal. And I guess all the, the shit that you just said doesn't apply to you because you're not diabetic. Right, Shani? See, you can't you can have it both ways. And, and saying it over online, I'm definitely gonna say how stupid it is because i don't want people to get in harm's way thinking they can fast when they have diabetes no snickers aren't good i'm just saying that the glycemic index on wheat bread is higher than a snickers bar i'm just saying i'm not telling you to eat snickers instead of fucking bread you were kind of it's saying not what that. I'm saying. You were kind of saying that by saying that bread was way worse than a Snickers bar, which is 
I don't believe that. I mean, you said that the Snickers bar had um, <clears throat> less carbs than bread, and that's just simply not true. I'm just saying how bad bread is on the glycemic index. Thank you, Ashley. No, it's not. It's not. Like, you can use cheese or eggs. Oh, my gosh, girl. How about vegetables? That thing you say that you mostly eat? What's up, Montserrat? Five dollars super chat. Bread will not hurt a diabetic. Learn before you speak. Thank you very much. This person has somebody in their family who is a di diabetic. My mother-in-law has to type two diabetes. She's Korean. <laughs> Obviously, my husband's Korean, but she still eats rice in small doses, like in small amounts. In moderation, she can still have rice. She can, but she monitors her levels and she monitors how much she eats in a day as far as like how many carbs. So if she wants to have some rice that day, she doesn't have something else that also has a lot of carbs in it. Okay. Eating bread when you're diabetic is not uh, bad. It's how much and where you are. If your blood sugar levels are like all over the place, yeah, you need to like step away from that for a while. Just saying. For a bread, you can make, um, what is it, cloud bread? And it's with eggs. It's kind of like a souffle almost, how it's made. But it's made with eggs. And you can use it like a sandwich. If you want a sandwich. Instead of, you know, the wheat. But I just want to put that PSA out there. For people. Um, <laughs> my next ham sandwich I'm having between two Snickers bars. Wow, that's so healthy. Why don't you, um, <laughs> Ashley, why don't you DM me and I'll put it in there in the DM. <laughs> or I'll DM you either way. <sighs> Exactly. And my mother-in-law does that too. How about lettuce wraps? She's never heard of that. Yeah. Yeah. That my mother-in-law does that a lot because if she wants to have rice that day, she'd much rather have a lettuce wrap instead of eating bread so that she can have more rice. It's all about moderation. My ex-brother-in-law would have my sister make a, sorry about that, make an almost keto type bread. He was born diabetic. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, I just, I'm not dealing with people who are going to put people in harm's way. And I'm certainly, I certainly have to say something if they're going to put people in harm's way. Even if it was an insult toward me, it doesn't matter. It's still, like, there's people who listen to that stuff. And I don't want them, like, hurt. Hmm. So you care more about some random thing, some straw man argument that basically no one said. You are more upset about that than you starving your children. Okay. Because of people's stupid, mean ignorance over the internet. Like Yeah, exactly. She put her kids in harm's way. Did, did you forget about that, Shani? Just having your boyfriend still shack up with you every day was putting your kids in harm's way. And that was one of many reasons why you lost your children. Because you chose a two-inch, quote-unquote, dick over your kids. I, I, I think what it is is people don't understand how pow powerful words can actually be. Oh, really? And they can be very powerful. Really? Like the time that you allowed your boyfriend to say he was going to beat the shit out of your kid. Like that was one of the reasons why you lost your YouTube channel back in 2021. Your boyfriend 
threatened physical acts of violence to your kid's face on a live stream in front of everyone. So yeah, words can be powerful, can't they, Shani? And to tell someone to do something dangerous is not a good thing. You know, it's not. Like, quit the shit with me. I don't do anything with anyone. I, I just try to live my life and um, be me. Mm. Anyway, okay. pizza marinatha, people. I'm heading pizza marinara. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. I just realized what she has against bread. Toasty. That's right. I just realized that too. That my avatar is a piece of toast. That's pretty funny. So that means I'm worse than a Snickers bar. Oh no. Yeah, it's. Mm. So anyway, um, so that's what she did. Let me see if I can find, um, let me see if I can find one of the ones where he was like whining. So I know that BGTV wanted to see it. Was it this one? Oh, I think it is this one. Okay. So I think this was one of the streams. He did like almost half of it was just like music. Okay, bro. His sound is, okay, well. I mean, this is all well and good and we can have stupid uh, conversations about uh, how much money uh, I should ask for an interview. Oh, yeah. Next channel is <laughs> Burnt Snickers. <laughs> That's right. We can have those stupid <laughs> discussions, but whatever price I put on it is what the price is. Because I'm the one being right. I'm the one doing the interview, getting the interviewed treatment. <sighs> you guys need to get some cups. I swear. Fuck. Hey, Monty, I know that you're watching. So apparently he's decided that in order for him to join us on Friday night, this Friday night, he wants $300. Yeah, he's smoking crack. He's not getting that. So he may not, he may not come now because apparently he wants money to buy her a fat bastard. Okay, sure. So yeah, it's 300 bucks. And I've earned that because I can pull in with just classical music, like 36 people, with just classical fucking music playing. Wow. So he gets 36 people in his audience, and he thinks that he deserves $300. Wow. The entitlement. So anyway, uh, I'm coming to you again for a charitable reason. Uh, I'm going to turn down my mic a little. Yes, thank Hot you. Mic. Holy shit. Ugh. There we go. Um... It's charity. Uh, if there's somebody out there that can find it in their heart to uh, help my wife out with some food. You'll buy her a fat bastard if she if he comes on. <laughs> I mean, I guess email him. I don't know. I doubt he's going to he's going to come on there. I mean, after all the racist shit that he said to us both, I don't I don't know if he's going to do it. But I mean, if he does, I'll, I'll be nice. I'm just going to ask him questions. Ooh. That's really because I haven't heard from CPS on it, you know. Uh, they usually help us with food, but the boys aren't here, so it's like, yeah, you're probably not going to get that, you know. So, that's that. But anyway, charitable reasons, you know. That's really the reason I'm on here. Rarely chat, but want to say love your show. Thank you so much, PF. I really appreciate that. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, that's what he was telling Drag, too, that he wanted 300 bucks. I was like, Get the fuck out of here. Is he crying? It's like the demons have just stayed out. 
and like they don't go away. <laughs> no, because it's because my my channel hit a certain level of subscribers, so this is what it's gonna be. Yep. Oh, hi, Christina from Flint. Yeah, I think Chatty's been talking to you. I think. Yeah, I got her message on Instagram. She got it. Yeah. I mean, it's weird. You would think that with as many people as as pop through here, I I had that live stream I did got nine hundred and thirty four views. You would think one person would be kind and go, "Yeah, I'll help you out." I can't even imagine getting online and begging for money. I mean, I know that there are people with legitimate needs, totally understand that. But for me personally, even if I was legitimately in need, you guys would never know about it. Like I, I can't, I can't even fathom the idea of myself coming onto a stream and asking for money. Like I, I, I would go hungry <laughs> before I would ask people for money, even in real life. Like, I don't think that I would ever be able to like call up my, my parents or my friends or something like that and be like, Oh, we need money. I would never do that. I, I don't know. Maybe I have too much pride, but I would get a second, third job. I would do whatever it took, sold our stuff. Like I would do something before I would ask anything. And um, thank goodness I've never been in that position. I mean, I have been very, very poor before. Very poor. Grew up very, very poor. So I know what that's like. But my mom always worked her ass off to make sure that we didn't go to bed hungry. And so I have no sympathy whatsoever for these people because they could very easily get a job or they can very easily get off their lazy asses, walk a block down the street, and get free food from all of the organizations and charities and ministries that are offering them food. Not just food, but there are places near them, like within walking distance, that would give them pet food, that would give them probably things like deodorant and toothpaste. I don't know if they use those things. Probably not. But they do give them out for free. There's homeless shelters, women's shelters. It is, there is no excuse whatsoever for them to be online begging like this. None whatsoever. I have zero sympathy for them, period. Philly Guy, $20 super chat. Here's money because you're entertaining <laughs> and don't demand money from viewers. Sucks to suck, Rev. Oh, thank you so much. You guys are crazy, but thank you. Yeah, like... Oh my gosh. So we already have <laughs> troll account, burnt Snickers. I love it. Love it. That was fast for the hardest working toast in the business. Thank you so much. We all know they don't use toothpaste. Of course not. Remember that one time where somebody was in their chat was like, oh, what's your favorite brand of toothpaste? She couldn't name any. Imagine somebody ask you, oh, hey, what, what do you use? Right? What, what, deodorant do you use? What toothpaste do you use? Most people are going to be like, oh, well, right now I'm using this, but I, last time I went to the store, I got that, right? She couldn't even name a brand of toothpaste. That's pretty bad. <laughs> that's pretty bad. Yeah. That, that's, that's insanity to me. But anyway, guys, um, I will put the link to this in the chat. Let me grab that for you so you can watch it yourself if you like. This is the link to that. And all of this will go in the description as soon as the stream is over. Here we go. Um, but thank you all so much. Like, this was so much fun. <laughs> it was very fun. And um, I really appreciate everybody who showed up and donated. You don't have to do that. Um, all you have to do is tag my name, Burnt Toast, as one word, and I will read your comment. But I really appreciate the people that did decide to donate. Um, I'm humbled that you guys would, would do that, but thank you so much. I will play you out with a song. Let me see. 
What is one that I haven't played in a while? Oh, cream on my back. That's what I'm going to play. So you guys have a great uh, week. Uh, definitely going live on Thursday. And then, of course, me and Monty have our show on Friday nights on his channel where we invite locales to come up and have a conversation with us. But it's not just them. Anyone and everyone is invited. You can join us and roast us or laugh with us, whatever you want. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. And you're welcome very much, Jenny. So anyway, you guys have a great week and I will see y'all later. So I'm in a closet somewhere. A lot of what I'm talking about today is coming um <laughs> cream on my back. <sighs> and this cream. Cream on my back. <sighs> Cream that I'm taking. Cream on my back. <sighs> and this cream. Cream on my back. <sighs> cream that I'm taking. And it's making me very tired. So, you know, um, uh, hello everyone. Welcome to uh, GTV. I'm Jimmy, your host. No, 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 no. Balls. Your spring's probably gonna be strong enough. Creams that I'm taking. No, 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 no. Creams that I'm taking. No, 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 no. Creams that I'm taking. Cream on me when I came out the closet. You know what I mean? G Men's, G Men's finally coming out the closet or something like that. And it's making me very tired, so. I swallow cum. You can sing it. Cream on my back. <sighs> okay? okay? And it's cream. I swallow cum. Cream on my back. <sighs> Creams that I'm taking. You can sing it. Cream on my back. <sighs> okay. Okay. And this cream. I swallow cum. Cream on my back. <sighs> cream that I'm taking. And it's making me very tired. So I can literally prove right now that I'm as straight as a doorknob. And I'm gonna get what's coming to me. No. Creams that I'm taking. No. 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 Creams that I'm taking. No, 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 no. Creams that I'm taking. G Man got cream on him coming out the closet. I swallow cum. Cream on my back. <sighs> okay, okay. And this cream. I swallow cum. Cream on my back. <sighs> cream that I'm taking. You can sing it. Cream on my back. <sighs> okay, okay. And this cream. I swallow cum. Cream on my back. <sighs> cream that I'm taking. You know what I mean? You are revealing to yourself and to a lot of the world out there who and what you really are. So I'm in a closet somewhere.